going to make a review about all the content we saw during our classes since the beginning of the semester, okay? This review is going to be for the ninth grade, right? So, here on our board, we have basically what we saw in the semester, in the beginning of the semester. That is the future, okay? We talked about two aspects of the future. We talked about the middle, and we talked about the first conditional. And then we're going to see a little deep about these two structures, okay? Uh, here I have all the people who use in English. I do, he, she, eat, we, they. We have our helper, remember that our helper is our ajudante. So, <clears throat> will is our helper. It is going to help us to find where we are, if we are in the present, in the past, or in the future. Will is used to talk about the future, okay? And here we have some of the vocabulary and we also saw in our book. So, if I want to make a sentence with will, I have a person, my helper, and the rest of the sentence. For example, I will visit my family. If I use will, I want to say that this action is in the future. Okay? So, it didn't happen. It will happen. Okay? Uh, we have some examples here. I will travel to Miami and she will buy a new car. Can you see that here we have the helper and the verb? The helper, the helper, and the verb. Okay. In English, the helper is going to act directly in the verb. So it's why in Portuguese it would be like, eu viajarei para Miami. Não eu vou viajar. See it? The same here. She will buy a new car. So, ela comprará, não ela vai comprar. Do you understand me? Good. Next, we have... So here, just other examples. I will travel to Miami. I can transform this sentence into a interrogative and a negative. If I want to make this sentence an interrogative, I just need to put my helper in the beginning of my sentence, okay? Just like we do with all the helpers we have in English. Can you see that I do not change my verb at all? I never change my verb. Uh, here is the same. Will she buy a new car? So, I just put my helper in the beginning of my sentence. If I want to make the sentence a negative sentence, I just put won't. Do you remember that won't is the marriage of will plus not? So I just took them and put, put them together, okay? So, I won't travel to Miami. This is a negative. And here the same. She won't buy a new car. Always remember, the helper acts directly in my work. So here, ela não viajará. Sorry, eu não viajarei. Ela não comprará. Do you understand me? Good. Next one, we have here two words. Probably and definitely. These two words, they are used with will. They are used to emphasize a little bit my sentence, okay? So if I use these two words with my helper, I want to say that the chances of this action happen is like bigger, okay? For example, they will probably go to school. So if they go to school every day tomorrow, they will probably go to school. We will definitely pass the exam. So let's suppose that I studied very hard and I'll probably pass the exam. So I am more sure about uh, the action, about what's going to happen. So I have here my helper, will, and the word definitely, just to emphasize a little bit to my sentence. Okay? Great. Next one, after we saw just will, we have the first condition. Okay? Remember, condition. 
functional is like conditional, okay? We have the first conditional to talk about possibilities in the future. Let's give an example. We always say for our months, for example, se você me deixaria no shopping, eu lavarei a louça. So can you see that we have a condition and we have a result for this condition? Good. Uh, in English, we have what we call by if clause that is like condition. And we have what we call by may clause that is our result. So one condition and one result for this condition. Okay? To use to work with the first conditional, we have then two structures in one sentence. Let's check this out. When we want when we want to work with the first conditional, we have these two types of sentences. For the if clauses, condition, we always have to use present simple. Remember, present simple. And for the main clause, that is our result, we always need to use will. We have just talked about will. So, for example, if you study hard, you will pass the exam. I have here a condition. The condition is to study hard. The result for this condition is pass the exams. So, in my if plus condition, present simple, and in my result, future will. Okay? The same we have here. But if you pay attention, we're going to see that here we have the same structure. I just uh, um, changed the place of the sentences. So, we will be in the cup final if we win tonight. Can you see that here? I cut the result first and after I cut the condition. So uh, the places, the, they kind of, doesn't matter, you know, the place. I need to focus, what I need to focus is each sentence has its own structure. So in the result, I need to put the bill. And in the condition, I need to use present simple. I could say, if we win tonight, we will be in the final. That would be the same. Okay? Next one, we have here just some examples of interrogatives and negatives. Okay? Remember, let's start with the interrogative. If you don't study hard, Will you pass the exam? So, my question is going to be in the sentence with will. Okay? Can you see here? I go to will before the pronoun. The same is going to happen here. Will you be in a cup final if you don't win tonight? So, I put will the beginning of my sentence just uh, before my pronoun to make a question, okay? And in the negative, basically the same. If you don't study hard, you won't pass the exam. So, don't because it's the present structure, do plus not, and won't because it's the future structure, will plus not. The same is going to happen here. We won't be in the cup final if we don't win tonight. Okay? Just pay attention to one thing. Remember that we have the three special people, he, she, and it? Good. If they are special, they need a special treatment in the present simple. Okay? Um, can you see these two sentences? We will be in the cup final if we win tonight. When I want to use he, she, eat, in this case she, because of the three people we have, uh, the sentence with the future is going to be the same. It doesn't change. Okay? So, she will be in the cup final. Can you see, can you see that it's like the same structure? I just changed the, the people. Okay? We are going to have some changes in the sentences in the present, like we have here. If we win tonight, in this sentence we're talking about we. So we 
So we are going to put an S at the end of the verb. This is going to happen in the native as well. If you don't study hard, you won't pass the exam. Here, if he doesn't study hard, so can you see that we changed it from you to he? So we need to change the helper from don't to doesn't. But can you see that this, the future structure is going to be the same? So the special attention I need you to give to these sentences is when you talk about present simple related to the three special people we have. He, she, and it. Okay? And here we have our project. This project is going to be in your happy page, okay? We're going to send all the instructions there. But just for you to know, I want you to make a project for me about a mini model. Do you know what a mini model is? Mini model is just like a maquette, okay? You are going to see the picture we have here that is going to be in your upper day, okay? And then it can be in pairs, it can be in groups. You can make for me, you are going to make for me your ideal place to live, okay? Then you can do mini models, you can do a plant like a, we have here, okay? I want you to use your imagination, all right? And if it is, uh, if it's not going to be the, the house of your dreams, please try to use the future, okay? Are the conditionals, are the first conditionals as we saw here, okay guys? And that's all. See you.